from Harlem. This is Lenny for the LMS Extra Extra Show. It was kind of like not real to me. It didn't feel comfortable. So I asked Norman, I said, it would be okay if I just improvise, just do what I do. And he's like, go ahead, just do it so you can get out of here. Go. Whatever. <laughs> well, anyway, I got up there and, you know, I said, um, JJ, you better do those dishes and you better take the job with you. And he was like, looking at me like, and I went, did you hear me? I think I hear him. And he went, oh, you know, that dumb look? That's where it came from. Yeah, we had it. And we kept going back and forth, and Norman was laughing. I think that's what won my part. That's what won it. But I, but I have two brothers. I'm going to handle them. <laughs> and now what about this dancing? You still got some moves? Oh, I still got my moves. I still did did you ever learn to hustle? Yes. I did. Oh, I finally learned. Yeah, I, I learned to hustle. And Lenny, put that. Oh, put no, that no, 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 no. Instead of me, which I've learned now, that you always move from your own center in anything that you do, even in caregiving. No matter, even you love that person so much, you still have to move from your own center. A lot of times, what we do, what I had done, didn't understand it then, was I moved from my mother's center, meaning. The world revolved totally around the Alzheimer's. And my mother ate and forgot she ate and she wanted me to eat. I'd eat with her again and again and again and again. So what was that doing for me? I was gaining weight and she was staying the same because she was sick. She had, you know, she, you know, didn't gain. She didn't gain weight. So I'm like, well, how? I had my daughter laughing because I would go to the store to buy clothes. And um, I said, you know what? <laughs> I said, you know what? They're making these clothes smaller these days. <laughs> I couldn't understand how I was going from a size 8 to a 10 to a 12. I'm like, wait a minute. This is just not me. It's not happening to me. But that's how you can lose yourself in caregiving and not take care of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Some people die before the patient that they're caring for because it's so stressful. So I'm just, under, I'm just saying, remember yourself. You have to take time for yourself. You have to enjoy the things that you do enjoy. You have to, you know, take uh, breaks and relax your brain. You know, you can't feel guilty every time you leave the person that you're caring for to go do something that you like to do. I'm not saying stay out all night, but you can stay out a couple hours. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Instead of feeling like I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing my job, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of focusing on the caregiving part to be healthy while you care. Otherwise, you know. I had one of those. Oh, you do? I those had are good. one. Those are good. Somebody Ever? stole it. Oh, my goodness. They don't make them anymore. They I know. That's what I'm saying. Somebody good, stole it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lenny Matthews from the LMS Extra Extra Show. And we have uh, the pleasure to have the afternoon with Thelma. Bird and step, Brenda, that's good, right? Yes. And, and the book, what's the name of your book, my friend? My friend. Okay. Question I would like to ask, you know, I sat back and, oh, okay. Okay, the question I'd like to ask you is that I've been, I was listening. What kind of book is this? What kind of book is this? The book that you it's a put book in about the relationships. Ships, okay. um, I did 101 different situations mm -hmm. and my responses to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fun book. It's an interesting book. Everything in here is real. I've heard all these stories and I've given the advice. You know, I had a friend like that too. Maybe she, maybe I should have wrote a book and and, and, and let her make her go to the store and buy it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They always come to advice. Yeah, no. But you had different situations. Yes. And, and, and also, too, you know, what really touched my heart is that you were talking about, you're talking about writing a caregiving book. Yes. Tell us a bit about that. Oh, that book is coming out um, in another month. Uh, it's called uh, The Last Night, A Caregiver's <laughs> Journey Through Transition and Beyond. Uh, I'm talking about caregiving for my mother, but the book is more than just caregiving. It's like a companion book. I talk about my grandparents. I talk about my parents. I talk about growing up in Brownsville. I talk about how I got to good times. I talk about my day of um, learning different lessons from my parents, um, my, my life on good times a little bit, I go there, um, all the characters, what I've learned from Esther Roll. Um, what did you learn from Esther Roll? I learned a lot. I learned about integrity, dignity on a job. 
I learned that. She already lived that though because I know even, uh, of course, she left the show for a while. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and she, because she wanted a certain thing, things right. on that show. She meant what she said and she did what she meant. And um, we learned how to um, have dignity about that and, and, and hold steadfast to what we believe. You know? These show the good times are still being played over and, and over Everywhere. again. Everywhere. Because also too, that's a show with a lesson to it. Too many shows you don't have lessons to. No, that was the beginning, and we did a lot of lessons. We, we taught a lot of lessons in that in those shows. You know, I'm about to say about the black shows. Some of the black shows have some of those. Well, I I have to admit, it's buffoonery in a sense. Well, now it's turned into something a little different. You know, it's not like it used to be, and we need that again. That's why Good Times is still so popular because they don't have shows like that anymore. No, they don't. Professor McAllister of uh, you. You and him went to college together. They don't know what high school together, right? Yeah, Erasmus Hall. Erasmus Hall. Yeah. What did you major while you were there? Academic. Academic. Oh, the academic. Okay. Yeah, and I was dancer. You were a dancer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I was also, a dancer. He mentioned to me that uh, he knew your, your 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 dad, right? Yeah, my he knew my dad. But my dad passed away in '91. Oh. Um, someone, uh, you know, he was murdered. In ninety one. Yes, yes. And we're thinking that maybe that was one of the onsets of the Alzheimer's for my mother, the depression that she went through. Right, right. Oh, that's a big possibility. Yeah, yeah. So I put that in the book because I want them to focus on depression. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Which is good for you. From Harlem, this is Lenny for the LMS Extra Extra Show. And have a nice day.